going on everybody out there this is popular stranger we are back at you again today for another madden 16 card review today we're going to go over the limited time team of the week edition of brandon marshall wide receiver for the new york jets this card is a 93 overall with short i'm sorry grounded pound in short pass styles let's go ahead and take a look at his stats this card is an absolute beast and we will have some gameplay coming up towards the end of the video. So he is 6 foot 4, 72 elusiveness, 92 route running, 99 catch in traffic, 94 spectacular catch, 92 speed, 96 catching overall, 97 release and 94 jumping. Some of the other stats on this card include 80 strength, 81 agility, we mentioned his 92 speed, 93 acceleration, 88 awareness, again, really good catching, 96, 78 carrying, good for after the reception, not fumbling the football. He also has 74 run block, one of the better wide receivers when it comes to blocking, and we'll talk about that shortly. Jumping, 94, 86 trucking, 72 elusiveness, 83 ball carrier vision, 93 stiff arm, 86 spin move, 88 juke move, 70 impact blocking, and a little further down here, 93 injury, 98 stamina, 94 spectacular catch, 99 catch in traffic, and 92 route running along with a 97 release. So, by far one of the better wide receivers in the game at this point. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at some gameplay, see how he stacks up against other wide receivers in Mutt so far right now. Let's jump on into it. Let's start by talking about the pricing on this card. For the PlayStation 3, you can get it for 310 k PlayStation 4, 360 k Xbox 360, 280 k and the Xbox One, 355 k All of these averages can be found on Mutthead.com. On that website, they find him as a 89 overall vertical threat, 92 overall slot receiver, 95 overall run blocking receiver, 95 jump ball, 97 possession catch receiver, and a 91 overall run after catch receiver. Moving over to MuttRank.com, he is the 6th rated complete receiver, 8th rated pure receiver, 27th overall face catching receiver, which I must say I disagree with, and the 3rd overall blocking receiver. Now just yesterday, we did do a review on the Team of the Week Kelvin Johnson card, so a lot of comparisons that I'm going to make in this video reflect on that card as well because they are very similar if you missed that review be sure to go check it out this card is extremely better it's more versatile it can do more things than that megatron card now obviously it goes for a little more as far as coin goes but i think the upgrade is surely worth it that is the decision i made and i really just did it attempting to try out the card wasn't really sure how i was going to feel about it this card isn't extremely fast, he's not going to blow by defenders, but he just manages to get open, make catch and catches, and is very, very reliable. I think the run blocking and blocking after the pass is one of the key elements to this card. Very, very underrated. I did show you guys some examples earlier in the video, and that just alone is almost worth the upgrade. Once you get the running back, the ball, or another receiver, he pretty much pancakes somebody every single time. Another thing is, he has a better route running statistic, or route running rating, I should say, than Kelvin Johnson. So he's not your typical tall receiver that you're just going to send down the field and throw up the passes and try to aggressive crutch it. That does work, but he's also more versatile. He has great route running, so you can send him on slants, corner routes, C routes, he's going to get open, he's going to get separation, and he very rarely drops the ball. I'm giving this card a 10 out of 10. Go check it out. 